traffic, no noises that you were used to hearing, but just complete isolation. We remember the lonely sights and silence the pandemic brought. It seemed like there was constantly news of people getting sick and people passing away. The amount of uncertainty and anxiety, the volume of, of death. And it was a pretty scary and, and very sad time. I think most nonprofit leaders would, you know, honestly suggest, I don't, I don't know if they're going to make it. Michigan's people and their nonprofit safety nets were stretched thin, strained and tested like never before. Pandemic in those early days was immediate for us at the association. And that was just what we needed. And after we got our team secure and safe, we pivoted to think about what was it that our members needed, and more importantly, how were nonprofits responding. Everything was quick. It was almost as if somebody hit the fast forward button. During COVID, that absolutely accelerated. I think there was this huge need and we all rolled up our sleeves and jumped in together. Decisions having to be made in milliseconds, not minutes, not hours. We absolutely deepened collaborations, formed new partnerships, worked faster and deeper together with the folks like m and It was very natural for us to um, think about how we were going to work and continue that collaboration. Kyla Carlson is the Senior Director of Programs, Strategy, and Innovation at COAC Detroit. Like thousands of Michigan nonprofits during 2020, she and her staff had to temporarily close their doors and adapt. COAC Detroit is a hub for nonprofits connecting to resources and each other. But navigating COVID first required connecting with MNA and other leaders, partners, and community collaborators. That I think weekly in the beginning of the pandemic, there was guidance and support in that space. Here's what we're doing, what are you doing? How can we cross promote each other's programs, especially basic need services like food and shelter? One of their biggest concerns was childcare. Having that space together on a regular basis was such important peer support for each other. We started to get the inquiries in about how they were gonna to continue to provide mission work that was, by the way, increasing by the day. Michigan Nonprofit Association's president and CEO, Kelly Kuhn, describes a new wave of demand crashing down on a shallow pool of resources due to new coronavirus restrictions. MNA surveyed its membership to determine immediate needs. The most pressing, keeping nonprofit workers and the communities they serve safe. How can we do more? How can we do better? What should we do? Weekly webinars, newsletters, and daily MNA COVID briefings played a role in safeguarding volunteers and keeping pace with changing laws and guidelines. If only donations and funding kept pace as well. Did nonprofits have enough cash to sustain themselves of whether or not nonprofits were even going to be viable if they didn't have revenues coming in? For the first time, nonprofits were able to access things like the Paycheck Protection Program that enabled them to keep their lights on and pay their staff. Certainly helped save some nonprofits uh, and, and bring more support and resources to the sector. And uh, through that, ultimately uh, impacted directly people's lives. The idea for the Nonprofit Journal Project was conceived by Brian Boyle. It provided a desperately needed voice for nonprofits to share their stories of struggle and success during the pandemic. It allowed the sector to share its vital signs with the public, and it gave the pulse of nonprofits as community needs remained critical. And I thought it was incredibly important that uh, the nonprofit had a strong voice during this time and make sure that there was resource attention, policy attention, and particularly the, the voice of nonprofit leaders who were really in the eye of the storm during all of this. Small business had the opportunity to close their doors and regroup. The nonprofit sector did not shut down during this time. They couldn't close their doors and they didn't close their doors. We supported nonprofits throughout the pandemic and continue to support them. That includes the Michigan Nonprofit Relief Fund Program, a way to further help nonprofits struggling through the pandemic with $50 million in bipartisan state aid. Needs are there all the time. 
why nonprofits exist is there all the time. Resiliency and, and moving forward and sustainability, continuing to partner with each other remains as important as ever. The pandemic allowed an opportunity to shine light on the work of nonprofits. We are all a bit stronger having gone through that. Pivoting, changing, uh, evolving is central to the, the themes and narrative. Prior to the pandemic, during the pandemic, and even now, I think and I hope that they continue to see us as a trusted resource.